So as you can see, I am wearing a lace-up t-shirt. It is so cute and that is what we're going to do with this t-shirt, which I'll show you in a moment. So we're going to be creating this lace-up detail on the t-shirt. The supplies that you are going to need for this project is a pair of sharp fabric scissors. You're going to need this little tool here, which is a pattern drill that I use for my pattern cutting when I'm making my, or drafting my sewing patterns, and a few pins. So this is a t-shirt that we will be working on. I do have two other video tutorials based on this t-shirt. One is how to make the t-shirt smaller. The second is how to cut into the neckline of the t-shirt. So we're so going to turn our t-shirt to the wrong side. I have used fusible interfacing in order just to protect that area because we are going to be using that tool in order to punch into the fabric to create some perfect little circles. So do bear that in mind that it is advisable to put a little bit of interfacing around the cutout of the shirt. Now, as I said previously that I've used a video tutorial with this t-shirt, we do have a little bit of scraps to work with. And here are those scraps. So these scraps are the side seams of the shirt. And we are going to be kneading these scraps in order to make this lace up t-shirt. So what is going to happen is we're going to be using, we're going to be putting a full length of these scraps in order to create the string, if you like, of the top. And then we've also got this little detail of the, I would call it the tongue. So you're going to I've need your scissors. And I'm going to cut from this side because it is the sleeve section here, I'm going to use that as my guide and then tear that all the way down. So we're left with this little section here. I'm losing every scrap of this t-shirt as much as possible. So this is what I'm going to be using here. So I've got the fullest part of the t-shirt and I'm going to fold that in half and I'm just going to, it's a slight curve that's here as well so I'm just going to take that and just trim like so. So we've got that slight curve that's happening there so you can end up with something like that and then that shape in there we are going to sew, we're going to stitch along the curved side. So there we have the zigzag stitch in order to make one continuous strip for the lace up. And then I've sewn using a stretch stitch, you can use a zigzag stitch around the curve of the little tongue here. We're going to put that to the, turn that to the right side and just finger press that into shape. Just finger pressing that into shape. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. So turn the t-shirt to the wrong side 
and we're going to place this onto just above so you've got like a, a few millimeters above the point here so if I show you there's the point there and we're going to make sure that covers the point it covers the point now so we've got literally about centimeters if not a little bit more it just depends on how much of this section of the tongue from your t-shirt cut out that um, you have so put that into place and this is where the pins come into play I'm going to just lift that gently and just put the pins into position I'll just put one on the opposite side and one at the bottom of the t-shirt one there and then one at that point there There, so it should look like that and then what I'm going to do then is work on the right side of the shirt to stitch this tongue section here into place onto the shirt so we are now on the right side of the t-shirt I'm going to top stitch from one corner coming down into the V shape here and coming back up on the other side. There we have the top stitching on the top front of the t shirt holding the tongue into place. So the next thing you need to do is turn it to the wrong side and as you see we've got all this surface fabric here so we're going to cut that away so you're going to need your scissors and to make sure you're just cutting away that extra piece of fabric that we added to the shirt and just turn it around the end. There we go. So it looks nice and neat. So once you've done that, the next stage is to make the holes in which to put the string. So we're going to fold the neckline in half like so and I'm going to put a couple of pins to hold that into place because I want to make sure it's even on both sides so I'm just going to put a pin in the neckline here right okay now we are going to put three holes into here so one is going to be here one in the middle and one at the top so let's just find the middle, fold that in half, there it is, place a pin, that's going to be the centre and we're going to put one, I'll just put the pins in, it won't be necessary really to put the pins in here but I'll put one here and one here. So what I'm marking there are going to be the holes that we are going to be producing in order to get the lace up details. So I have my tool here and I am going to take that pin out make sure you have your cutting mat that is going to be vital because you don't want to be marking any surface you're working on and I'm going to get my tool and I'm just going to apply some pressure 
gently twisting. And what that does, it cuts into the fabric, cuts through all layers and produces that perfect little hole. And, um, and that's what you want with this project. I just thought it would be easier doing it with this type of tool. But you could, if you wish, and you didn't want to use this tool, just use your scissors and create little tiny holes that way or some other kind of uh, tool in order to get that shaping. So I'm going to put another one here. Do the same, apply a little pressure. It's not an awful amount of pressure, just enough so you can, you can't really feel it, but just to judge how far down you want. And so what happens is, let me just show you here, the little, little fabrics there, that fall out, there's two little sections there. So it's like a little tiny circular cutting tool. And I've just got one more here at the bottom to do. There. And there we have it. Remove that pin. And there we will have six holes, three on each side of that neckline. And all we need to do now is get the string and thread that through. So we're going to start at the bottom, just get the ends here and just thread that through like so and do the same on the other side. pull that through. A bit tricky. It's a great little project, it really is. It's a great little project for, for beginners and then cross that over and just continue until you get to the top. Let's do the other side. As you can see, I now have two. I'm an owner of two lace up tops. Great little project. And then one more crossover. And then we're going to finally do the last two. Yep, that one's done. And the last one. Just put that through the last hole. And there we have it. The lace up t shirt. So that is the lace up t shirt. And if you're interested in the other two t-shirts, video tutorials, there's an I here, just click on that and what happens is a card will pop out and just click on the links to those video tutorials. One is how to make a t-shirt smaller and the other is how to cut into the neckline of the t-shirt and I use the same t-shirt in all those, in those two video tutorials. Also, if you want that tool that I recommended, in the video, then I'll put a link to description in the I'll put a link to the description below. Stick around on the channel for more awesome fashion sewing tutorials. Do subscribe, and when you subscribe, please don't forget to hit the bell, which will notify you of when I upload videos. Do leave a comment. If you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Do share, and I 
We'll see you next time.